In this video, we're going to be adding Zakiai API to a voice flow bot. I want to clarify something. So a lot of you guys have been saying, why would I even use Zakiai when I can just put everything in the knowledge base? The reason you'd want to use Zakiai and things like Flowwise is because they have a lot of plugins that these knowledge bases don't have okay, in the native platform. You have data loaders that can update in real time, like Airtable, Notion, Google Searches, Salesforce, YouTube. Like You can have live updates of data. Okay, so the other knowledge bases, they're going to be cold storage. So you upload it and you have to update it manually. But let's say you have um, an inventory check for your company or business and it's constantly updated in the sheets. You can easily import Airtable and then the updated Airtable sheet. Every time it's updated or every time there's an action sent to the LLM, it's going to have the updated sheet because it's connected in real time. Okay, and it even has, um, they even have Google Drive here. So you can upload Google Drive and a lot of other plugins like web scrapers and table analyzers that knowledge bases do not have the capability to do. Okay, and there's even more capabilities in terms of you have more LLM options than these traditional knowledge bases. Um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's dive into this video. So I'm going to be incorporating Stack AI with voice flow first. So let me just put input. It's a blank template. And let's get the output. And then we're going to get the LLM. So I'm going to use OpenAI. I'm going to use 2.5 turbo 16 case for more tokens. Input, connect to completion to output. And now I'm going to do the point of this video. I'm going to add something that these other knowledge bases don't have. So I'm going to be using a YouTube video for this. So I'm going to connect a YouTube video to a vector database. The reason you connect the YouTube video to a vector database is because the YouTube video is going to be too much data for the bot to handle. So you have to break it out into chunks. This is what the vector database does. It splits it into chunks. And then it searches each, it searches like a broad search for each, for chunks. And then it finds a specific one, then it zooms in. So it finds a broad, which chunk is in, and then it searches in that, within that chunk. So um, it saves a lot of um, time and energy. So we'll connect this to the LLM and we'll connect the input query to the input. And now we sent the YouTube video. I already have a YouTube video here. I'm going to use Liam Otley's yeah, automation agency tutorial. That's like an hour long. How long is it? Yeah, one, two hours. Wow. He did well with this. Okay, and then I'm going to test it out. And before I'm going to write a system prompt, you are an AI assistant. This works for most, basically anything. This is usually the best prompt. You are an assistant. This is the best prompt for the system. And then we're going to say your brain is like zero. So what I'm doing here is, see the top? This is the code for this block so like zero so now we're telling the LLM this is your brain this affect these chunks these data is your brain so this is your knowledge and then we say answer question with your brain and then I'm gonna ask how oh before I do this I want to I want short concise answers make it a concise two or three sentence answer I'm not good with spelling but well, we have autocorrect. How do I generate leads? Let's test it out. So I'm going to press play. Okay. Do, 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 do. Generate leads, you can use various, various methods such as creating compelling content, running targeted ads, and leveraging social media platforms. Additionally, you can collect leads by reaching out to potential customers through email and SMS or by conducting local business searches on platforms like Google Maps. This output is taken from this video. So when you ask it a question, it searches the data from this video, it transcribes the whole video, and then it generates the output that you, the user wants. Okay, so now we can begin and try to incorporate this in VoiceFlow. Okay, so I'm going to create a new assistant. I'm going to call it YouTube AA. YouTube AA, and then I'm going to build an AI assistant. I'm going to choose channel, I'm going to use web chat, and I'm going to use English. I'm going to create assistant. Okay, so now <clears throat> we can delete the stuff. We can delete all of it, it's fine. There's going to be a link in the description for the Discord server waitlist. It's going to be a WAP link. Click on it, then click on Discord, and then you can enter a waitlist. It's going to be completely free. If you want to be eligible, make sure you enter in. It's going to have templates, tools, etc. So you don't want to miss out. Make sure you enter the waitlist to be eligible to join. Also, if you enter the waitlist, I'm going to be giving out the template for this video for free with that entry. Okay, so let's keep it simple. I'm just going to connect this to a text I I am an a expert ask me anything 
So we're just going to do a, a listen, and then we're going to put a capture. And then we can put last utterance. We can leave it as last utterance, to be honest. But I'm going to create a new variable. Um, to do that, you can go on the top left, right here, and then click NLU, and then we variables, and then we press the plus, and we can create. I'm going to make it user want, just so it doesn't, it generated it. Let's glitch it. Okay, user want. So we have it done. And now we want to connect this to, we're going to connect it to a dev API. Okay. And this is the part where you have to stick with me. Okay, so we're gonna change this to post. Um, we're gonna create a header here. We're gonna name it authorization. We're gonna create another one. Content type. And then for the content type, it's gonna be similar for every time. So you can just copy this application slash JSON. And then for the um, this, it's gonna be API key. So you're going to put your API key here, and then this is going to be the endpoint URL. Okay. Um, before we put those in, let's go to body. I'm going to put raw, and I'm going to put this code right here. Oops. So basically, it just knows that the input that sent to Stack AI is user want, the variable we just made. And then we're going to press plus here to capture the response. So we want the response from Stack AI to be sent to voice flow. So we're going to write here, capture response. We're going to enter the key. I'm going to get that now. It's going to be out zero. And then we're going to apply. We have to create a new variable. So we're going to call this API response. Should be fine. And that's it. So now we just need to input the endpoint URL and the token. So I'm going to show you how to get that. Mine's going to be blurred out. I'm going to deploy this first. It's deployed. So now we can go find the YouTube. Okay. So mine's blurred out, thankfully. But this is where your, if you press show token, it will have your API key here. So first, let's get the endpoint, though. So we get the endpoint. And I just, oh, sorry. Post, put it here. Put it in the post here. And then for this, let me see if I can get it on a different screen. I don't feel like blurring it. So make sure when you're putting the authorization, you write bearer in front of it and then you put your key in. So I'm gonna paste my key in now. Let me just go back and let me go to success. I'm gonna add text. It's gonna be API response. Okay, so it works. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can add a fill here, something. Uh, wrong. Try again later. And then we can end it. We can go logic end, and then we can go logic end. Okay. So this is a basic setup of it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, so now it's done. So now every time user is submitting a question, it will be sent to Stack AI and it will query the YouTube video and then provide the result from the YouTube video. So you don't even have to watch YouTube videos anymore. You're welcome.